Sam Altman, who's in charge of OpenAI, and Johnny Ive, who used to design stuff for Apple, are working together on something special. They're calling it the iPhone of AI, but no one really knows what it is yet. What we do know is that it's not going to be a smartphone. They need a lot of money to make their dream a reality, so they're trying to gather funds. Right now, Sam and Joni are looking to get up to $1 billion for their secret AI gadget. They started a new company for this project and are hoping to get enough money to bring their idea to life. This gadget might work like some other smart devices out there, but it's not gonna look like the phones we're used to. Sam Altman has already put some of his own money into similar tech, so their new thing might be kinda like that too. Sam and Joni are talking to big money people, trying to convince them to invest millions into their project. They think it's going to cost a lot to get their AI hardware out there for people to buy. Some of the big names they might get money from include SoftBank's Masayoshi-san, who has been chatting and brainstorming with them, as well as some groups that have helped fund OpenAI before. Johnny Ive has some ideas about how we might use this device. It might work a bit like a computer, but it won't rely so much on screens. But since they're still figuring it all out, it could be a while before we see the final product. We're all waiting to hear more about what Sam Altman and Johnny Ive are planning, so we'll keep an eye out for any news. Now, there's another story unfolding that connects to the ambitious project of Sam Altman and Johnny Ive. While these two are busy gathering funds for their AI device, Elon Musk, the boss at Tesla, has been dealing with a bit of a challenge caused in part by the competitive spirit of OpenAI, where Sam Altman plays a leading role. Elon Musk has noticed that OpenAI has been quite eager to bring over engineers from Tesla, offering them really attractive salaries. Because of this, Musk decided it was time to increase the pay for Tesla's AI engineering team. He mentioned that OpenAI had managed to lure away some of Tesla's talent with these big offers. This move by Musk is a direct response to what he calls the craziest talent war I've ever seen in the AI space. This talent shuffle doesn't stop at Tesla and OpenAI. Ethan Knight, a machine learning scientist from Tesla, was in the spotlight for moving to Musk's own AI venture, XAI. This move came after Ethan was considering joining OpenAI. Musk shared this news, indicating that the competition for AI expertise isn't just among companies, but also involves personal projects of tech leaders. The battle for AI talent is fierce, with companies not just raising salaries, but also getting creative in how they recruit. For example, Meta's Mark Zuckerberg and Google's Sergey Brin have been personally reaching out to AI researchers and engineers to keep or bring them into their fold, with Zuckerberg even skipping the formal interview process in some cases. This intense competition underscores the high stakes in the AI industry, where everyone from established tech giants to innovative startups and personal ventures of tech moguls are all vying to secure the best minds. As Sam Altman and Johnny Ive push forward with their plans for a groundbreaking AI device, and Elon Musk ramps up efforts to keep his team together and competitive. It's clear that the race for AI dominance is more than just about technology, it's about securing the brightest brains in the field. Now, this is all linked to a big change at OpenAI, which plays into the wide array of tech ventures Sam Altman is involved with. OpenAI made some changes to how its investment fund is managed. This fund is there to support startups focused on AI. Before, Altman was pretty much running the show, overseeing the fund himself. This was somewhat out of the ordinary because even though the fund functioned like a typical company investment branch, it was really Altman leading the charge with money from external investors. Still, OpenAI made it clear that Altman wouldn't profit directly from the fund's performance. This adjustment came to light through a filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, marking a significant shift in how the fund will operate moving forward. Ian Hathaway, a partner in the fund since 2021, will now take over control, moving Altman away from a direct governance role. This change is said to bring more clarity to the fund's operations, which has raised $175 million from partners, including tech giant Microsoft, to invest in promising AI startups. The timing of these changes is intriguing, especially considering Altman's diverse investment interests, ranging from crypto to energy, and his ongoing efforts to fundraise in regions like the Middle East for his various ventures, including the mysterious AI device project with Joni Ive. Moreover, this shift in OpenAI's fund governance structure happened after an independent investigation into Altman's actions within OpenAI, which found no wrongdoing on his part regarding product safety or financial management. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.